everyone, March is here, so that means that spring is right along the corner. Right now it is 65 degrees, which is actually pretty warm for March. I feel like sometimes March can be a little cold, so hey, I'll take it because any warm weather I am happy with. So today I wanted to talk about teams. So one thing about being a project manager, working with the team is that you want to find ways to make sure that the team are working together. Everyone's collaborating. Everyone has a sense of transparency and understands what's going on. So one of the great things about teams is that it combines all the functions that you need in order to make sure that your team is working together in a cohesive way. So it has the ability to chat, video conferencing, teleconferencing, it has a document repository, the ability to work on documents at the same time. So I have been using Teams for about two to three years and so I really delved into the functionality that Teams has as you know someone who I really liked Link then it became Skype when Microsoft bought Skype, it became Skype for Business, and now they're trying to move towards Teams, and I've seen that evolution, and I think at first everyone was a little skeptical, because usually people don't like change, but now it, people really see how wonderful Teams is becoming, and so people are gravitating to it more and more than they were in the past. So that's one thing that I do wanna to talk to you about is how to use Teams in a way that helps you and your team work together and to make sure that you're one step ahead to make sure that this project is successful and is completed on time and on budget. So let's get started and talk about Teams. So let's get into Teams. So one of the great things about Teams is that it has everything that you need. A place for you to chat with your team. You can do teleconferences on there as well as video conferencing. And then a place where you can put all your files, all your documents, OneNotes, wikis, whatever you need, you can put inside your team. So I think it's great that um, Microsoft has created this application because in the past it was all in different areas like if you wanted to chat you would do it in skype or link before they bought skype and then if you wanted to go to like where your file repository you would have to go to sharepoint but now it's all in one place and you can tell like in the back end that they're using skype as well as sharepoint to power a lot of this stuff I have two Teams account. I have the one that I use at work and the one I use at school. So I'm going to show the one I use at school because there's things in my work one that I can't really show. But that's one of the things that I really like about Teams that is like one size fits all in the sense that it doesn't have to just be used for business. You can use it for school as well, as especially if you're doing a lot of group projects. Teams is great because you can have your team just all in one place. And that is one of the things that I love. And um, we've, I think in every class that I've had in my MBA, we always use Teams to, you know, collaborate and make sure that everything is in one place instead of having it all in email or in like the different type of cloud drives that they're out there. We just use the one that the school gives us, which makes it so much easier. So if you're just, you know, you can join or create a team. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a team. I don't even know what I'm going to name it. I'm pretty bad with, <laughs> with title, like titles and names and stuff. I suck at creating names. So I'm probably going to make it very generic because I really do not know what else to call it. So I'll just call it PM number one. And then you can um, decide like the privacy settings. So this works well, like in maybe like a school or in a company, we have like public teams, like for like in our company, we have one for like women in tech. We have another one for like people who are really wanting to, you know, give back to the community. We have that one as well, as well as one for like getting together after work. So we have like different ones. So that would be the ones that you would have as public. We also have like a public channel for like any updates. Like if there's new people joining our company, any type of events, then we would post it on there. So it's really good to have. You can also like use an existing team as a template, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to continue and just create it from scratch. And then here, you know, you can add people to your 
um, team. And one good thing is that if you wanted to like add a group of people, people who are already part of a different team, you can do that as well instead of just having to like select individual names. So here's a created group. So I, because I didn't create it from a template, you have just posts and files as the tabs. Here, if you wanted to manage the channel, you can add the permissions here as to who can post. I don't know like why you would only have the owner's post. So I, I'm assuming if it's just if you're trying to give news to people, but you have that option. But you know, I usually like when I'm creating a team for anything, I usually just keep it as the one that is already selected, which is anyone can post. So in post is the main feed. So this is like for any conversation. So if I wanted to like chat a certain, you know, person, then I would add them here. Or, you know, you can do like different, you can even like post things that are coming. So when you're creating a meeting and you add the link for teams, you can also include your team. So then it also posts the channel, which is good because sometimes, you know, teams like a, a, a calendar invite might get lost if someone accidentally rejects it or something like that. So they can come in here and actually join the meeting, which is also is very helpful because sometimes for school that happens to us a lot. I don't know why, but we always lose our meeting invites. And then we can just come to the team and we can see it saying like, hey, a meeting is starting soon. And you can just click on that, which makes it so much easier than trying to find this calendar invite that is probably like buried through, you know, under all these email messages. So here is the file section and this would be your document repository. So this is where you would post all the documents. And one good thing about this, which I really, really love, and we use this a lot, especially when we're meeting um, to make sure that we are, you know, finalizing a document is that it uses the 365 online. If you don't know what that is, it's basically Microsoft Office online. And when, and if you've ever used uh, 365 um, online or you've used Google, you can collaborate real time. So all of us can be in the same document and or presentation or Excel spreadsheet, whatever it is, and we can all work on it at the same time. Once in a while, there is a lag, but it's not that big of a deal, which is all, you know, it's not a big deal. It can just be a little slower to see some of the changes, but I think that happens depending on your network, as well as if there's like any issues with the server that is running the 365 online. And then as you see, it is, I think the back end is SharePoint. I'll have to like really look into that to make sure I'm not giving you as false information, but I the back end I think it is using SharePoint. So that is one thing I do love is that you can just sit here and pick one of these and then all of you all can work it on it at the same time without waiting for one person to finish before you get in there. I think the other thing I really love it about it as well is if I let's say like a Word document and you open it up, I prefer to do it on the actual app because the app actually, it's easier to, for me, it's easier to navigate and it's easier to find things. I mean, I've been using Word for so long and so I prefer that format better. So you can click, I think it's here, and you can open it in the desktop app instead of having it be on the Word Online. And the good thing about it is that you don't lose the ability to collaborate. So even if you're using the desktop app, you can still see that other people are inside that document and you can work on it at the same time that person is working on it. And then one thing that I really love about it as well is that I can save it and it'll automatically save to our drive um, on Teams. So let me just close out of here. The next thing you can do is if you click the plus sign, there's different apps that you can add as a tab on the on your teams. So usually what we usually do is that we add OneNote and then we can all like, you know, put our outlines, put our notes, anything on there. And one thing that is good is that if you do want, use OneNote a lot and you use Chrome, you can have a little Chrome extension so it can be like a web clipper. Um, if you use Evernote or Google Keep or Trello, they also have the same type of web clipper, which is very useful. 
And so, you know, here are all the like my, the notebooks that I have. You can create a new one. And then if you create a web, well, you can actually just use the one that is the default notebook. I'll just do that to make it easier. Then it'll post as a tab. And you can also do the same thing, open it on the desktop app. One thing to note, depending on your organization and the settings that they have, I learned this the hard way. We del- like removed this tab and it actually deleted the entire notebook. And when I emailed the help desk at school, they were like, oh, sorry, you deleted it. There's nothing we can do to bring it back. So just be, just make sure that you talk to your administrators that if you do remove some of these tabs, that they don't actually delete the actual application from here because then anything that you have done, like any notes that we had in that one note were gone. Luckily we had just started, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but man, I would have cried if it was at the end of um, one of the projects that we were working on because we put a lot of stuff in there. So as you see, um, there are numerous apps that you can add on here. The only con that I have about Teams, and I don't know why they do this, they don't have the ability to have a calendar. They do have a calendar, but it's not the one that you would use from Outlook or one that um, the whole team is using because because it at work, we use a public calendar for everybody to put their PTO, any other projects that they're working on, things like that. So we know to like set up meetings and things like, you know, of those those type of things. But there was no way to have a public calendar that all of us could use. And that was really frustrating. I had to use this weird, awkward, you know, workaround, you know, going to Outlook online, having it publish. I think I had to put the URL. I forgot exactly what I did, but it was this convoluted workaround in order to get the public calendars visible. But I think that that's something, I don't know if they're working on it, but they need to because that's the only fart part that I find frustrating about Teams is that there really isn't a public calendar that everyone can put you know, everything on and they need to work on that. There are different ways to access Teams. You can do it through the web, which is what I'm using now. There's also an app, if you look at my little um, bar at the bottom, you'll see that the Teams on the bottom, so I have my work, that's why I'm not gonna open it up. But you can tell it's very. it looks very similar to this. The one thing about the Teams app is when you're doing like a teleconference or a, web, a video conference, it's easier on the app than it is to use the web version. I've noticed that there's sometimes lag um, on the web version that you don't have on the desktop app. Um, There's also smartphone apps. I have it on my iPhone and there are times that if I'm like in the car running, like going to the doctor's office and I have a meeting at work, it is very nice to have it on my phone and then be able to dial into the meeting um, so I don't have to, you know, say I can't make it. I think that that's where the Skype you know, them buying Skype came from. And the calendar is my calendar, so we'll have any meetings that I had. So I know that Microsoft has the abilities to add calendars to the Teams, and I hope that they're able to do it within the different Teams groups that you have, because it would be nice, especially, like I said, we use it to share our, you know, upcoming vacations, sick appoint doctor's appointments, things like that. And it would be nice to have it all in one place. So then we all know, you know, what's going on in everybody's um, day. And so, and so I hope that they're able to add that in the future. Here is called, I don't really use this. Um, usually the only time that I really use Teams is to make a team teleconference and it usually will add a little join and then I'll join from my computer so I don't really use this. Um, the files is like all the files within all your different type of Teams groups that you're in, which is useful. And if you wanted to use your OneDrive, then you would add your OneDrive. Um, if you had other ones like Dropbox or Box or even Google Drive, then you can add it here so it's uh, accessible to you. And, you know, this is more for like Microsoft Classrooms, um, other than like the OneNote, the planners, like the ones below this part right here. So, um, and you can add like other apps and stuff. This is all of Teams, a very, um, you know, an overview of Teams. Please let me know in the comments below if you're planning to use Teams or you are using Teams and in what setting. Is it for school, for your business, or any other type of way? I would really like to know.
management and leadership videos that I post every week. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video and I will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.